Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So I thought I might as well talk about the new Death Notes. Um, everybody's talking about it. Might as well give my opinions on everything that um, is listed over here, as well as what I think will, you know, how they might implement it. You know, be be the prophet again, predict the future. Um, so I'll I'll take a look at the Colossus dungeon first. Um, I'll I actually have two tabs open right here. I have this one with the original Cafe Neighbor website, and it's actually on. Yeah, I have it like auto translated. It's not really all that good, but the translation is still somewhat readable. So I'll take a look at that as well as this. Um, I'll be going through everything listed here first. Now, the first thing that's going to be introduced is the Colossus Dungeon, which is basically like a new golems, like a higher level of golems, I would imagine. Um, it's a giant boss that overalls well, the age, ancient golem. The Colossus Dungeon will be added in June, so it's going to be happening this month. Colossus Dungeon will be the first instance of party replay substitution system. So this is like basically like a, a relay, I mean, uh, like a, you can, like a tag match basically. You, you just tag each other in and then you have like two parties of four. So a total of eight monsters and then they can like, you know, kind of switch around um, depending on the enemy that you're facing right now. So I think they'll, they'll actually be pretty fun. You can basically like go in and then like, um, you know, maybe they have monsters that require... You know, armor break or some shit like that to beat, and then you can just like switch your other team that has like armor breakers and stuff, and then you you can nuke it faster, or um, you know maybe certain levels are like harder and you need to have healing, and then you can like switch it in, or like you need passive healing or some something like that. You can just like switch it in and then have a team with a passive healer. I don't know how it's gonna work, but just kind of some of the things I've been thinking about. Or even maybe like um, monsters have certain, like the enemies have certain elements. So you have to build like a full fire team and like a full water team. And then when you're facing like a, a wood team, you want to switch your, your fire team. And then when you're facing like a fire team, you want to switch your full water team or something like that. Um, so I think that'll be pretty fun. Battling has the same format as regular bosses with four Astron battling the boss, but you can switch the current party with the switch party button. So it's going to be like semi-manual. You, I think it will still be auto. You can basically still be fighting the boss, and then you know halfway through you can basically like while you're fighting you can depending depending on what the boss is doing you can kind of switch around. So it'll have like a strategical slash mechanical element implemented. Um, so that actually might be pretty fun. There's a cooldown and a limited number of times you can switch parties, so that there's a little bit of strategy there, so you can't just keep switching whenever you feel like. Um, Colossus, in proportion to its difficulty, will reward you with skill books. New gems with two combined set bonuses, e.g. attack plus 30%, defense minus 10%, etc. So I think this is similar to... I can't remember which other game had it. Like, um, you know, like certain... certain. Oh, it's like... Uh, I think it's like WoW. WoW had certain gems that had that did this. Or maybe it was a game similar to WoW, but it wasn't WoW. It might have been Aeon, I can't remember exactly. But basically it's like you you gain 30% attack, but you lose 10% defense. So it's like a double-edged sword. You basically if you want to make your monster like full offensive and you don't care about your like defense at all, like because you don't need it. Maybe you you want to use it for like a nuker comp in um, arena and you want to like have your Gatito with like even higher damage. Than, than using a Valor set, then you can use a, the new set, which gives you like 10% more extra damage than Valor, but you also lose like 10% defense, but you're like, you don't care about defense anyways, because you just want to nuke as hard as you you humanly can. Um, so that actually might be pretty cool. And you can actually, this actually might be pretty fun to, to use on, um, like if there's a set that gives you like 30% defense, but minus his attack, you can actually put that on, on aggressors and it would be super OP. You just have like this, this uh, like, near actually it's only 10 percent increase i don't think it's gonna be that high but you can have like a 15 16k if you like use three hp gems yeah like a like a like a 15k um hp dark miho on arena that would actually be pretty sick as well um status effect changes in order to help fight against the colossus these two status effects will be changed. So taunt, um, in addition to taunting the enemy, the enemy will also attack will also be reduced. And blind, it actually says in order to help fight against the Colossus. And then blind, the enemy critical crit 
reduction, critical hit damage will also be reduced. So maybe there's going to be some sort of tanking element where you basically need to force the boss to hit your tanks. And then your other damage dealers can, you know, deal less damage. I think that might be pretty fun as well. Um, other less utilized... It would be really fun if um, Taunt and Blind and Attack Down all stacked. That would be actually really sick. Like, if the Taunt was a separate debuff that actually taunts and reduces, it, like, attack, and then you can stack that with Attack Down, then you can have, like, even more damage mitigation. That actually might be pretty fun. Um, other less utilized skill status effects will also be planned for alteration. That's actually pretty good news because I think stuff like fatigue and thirst really need to be buffed. They should honestly, like, and this is just my opinion, but I think they should remove thirst and actually just replace it with, like, the new SP siphon. I think it would still be pretty fair. Like, thirst is just a broken, doesn't work thing. Um, <laughs> fatigue, I think maybe if you made it so, like, instead of just them getting blue souls less, make it so that, like, they can't get blue souls at all or some shit like that. Like, I think that would still be pretty balanced. Like, that, e even then, it wouldn't be that good. Maybe against certain bosses. Like, if you use that against bosses, it actually might be pretty strong. You know, like, make it so they cannot get blue souls at all. That that would be, that would actually make it pretty strong. And also, um, the anti-healing thing. Like, reducing healing by 50% doesn't really do anything. You might as well just make it so, like, they can't, they can't get healed at all or some shit like that. Like, that that actually might might be much be better than it is now. Um, Glacial Plains and Aurora Plateau. So, ooh, it's coming in July. Oh, dang. I need to get my farm game up. I need to I need to raise more farm teams. This means I can get even higher efficiency in, uh, in farming extreme mode. I'm, I'm super excited for this. Like, I think everybody else is excited for Colossus. I'm excited for the new maps. Like, the new two areas. Because I can... I can make even more gold than than I do now. That would be that would be insane. Um, now, Dragon Dungeon changes. So, after looking at play data, Dragon Dungeon is planned to be revamped after the Colossus Dungeon update. After being added last October, Dragon Dungeon was the most difficult content. Now, I don't know if they're making it harder or easier. I kind of am fearing that they're making it harder because they are like. If, I, I don't think anybody else noticed, but I think I'm literally the one that's doing the most dragon runs every single week. I mean, I am like number one in capture league, which kind of think, makes me think that I'm probably running the most extreme mode and getting the most dragon sigils out of anyone in the game. So, uh, it's kind of a little bit noticeable to me that like every single week, the dragon's getting stronger and stronger. If, if you look at my old videos and stuff like that, you'll see like me landing armor break on the dragon a lot more. And then the purse, like light purse, not critting. Or um, not resisting as much in like the older older videos, but then like nowadays the dragon's like resisting like um, most of everything, which is which is pretty crazy. Um, so I'm not sure. I think maybe they actually want to make it even harder than it is right now. In order to make these changes, Dragon Dungeon will have a sh have to be shut down temporarily. That's that's really sad. I'm gonna have to like miss out on on a week of dragon farming. Dang it. <laughs> I hope it doesn't last too long. I hope they don't shut it down too long, and I hope that I can still farm dragons after this. I don't care if like I need to build new teams to do dragons, um, but you know, hopefully I can still farm it because I I really need my siphoning gems. Clan versus clan system. Now this is actually something they announced a long time ago. Um, there's going to be a new update planned. That basically, this is the biggest update plan after the new area update is released. Clan attendance system. Quality of life changes, new airships, and other content has been relayed um, through text are planned. That can't be relayed through text. Okay, are planned. Um, okay, so we don't know how these clan battle systems are going to work, but it's basically going to be like... It's going to be like clan PvP, which I think is probably um, the most logical thing for it to be. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, if it's clan versus clan, it's got to be, like, PvP. Um, I'm pretty excited for this because there's, like... I like I like doing PvP in, um, in Astromon League, but it's... Sometimes it's a little bit boring. It's kind of the same thing. Um, it, it might... This might spice things up a little bit more. And also give, like, incentive for me to make an actual competitive clan. Because I don't feel that with Titans. I don't really like doing titans too much. I basically just still farm it because I, I really want the sick reads. Um, but besides that, I don't really, you know, I don't really focus too much on this. But 
yeah, it's not, it's not, um, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. So we'll take a look at um, the the cafe neighbor size or cafe neighbor um, thingy. What did I say size? I was I was like reading this and then like I was talking at the same time. Provocation slowing. Okay. Slowing. Oh, this is just uh, the the anti crit. It's, it's like blind. And then this is gonna be the two new areas. There's gonna be like a snow snowstorm snowy, and aurora earth. Um. This actually makes me think that the monsters on this map are going to be like dark or something like that, or light and dark. It makes me, um, because it's very likely like this map, because it's a snowy map, that the monsters on this map is going to be water. Like mo mostly water. Perhaps, what if, what if they do something like water and dark, and then you, you would have to use like wood monsters. So I think I, what I would do is I would hold off on raising monsters right now and basically just use what I have now until the new new maps do actually come out and then I can plan accordingly basically um, raise monsters depending on certain elements like if they're if the map is like mostly if the map is like you know wood or fire then you, you want to raise fire because water fire has like advantage against wood and fire is neutral against fire and then if if they put like a light and dark map then you might want to use like a mix of light and dark units like kind of what I do for Star Sanctuary, um, I use my Nike and Indra. Basically, um, Nike care takes care of the dark monsters, and then the Indra takes care of the light monsters, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, they all use one server, all right. There's also be a clan attendance system, convenience improvement. Okay, that sounds that sounds pretty fun. So yeah, there's not too much information out, but um, that's basically it. That's that's really all there is to it. Now, yeah, I I don't know what to say. <laughs> there's there's really nothing to say at this moment, but we'll we'll see when it actually does come out. So that's just kind of my my thoughts, my reviews on um, the new dungeons and stuff, and hopefully. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it brings a lot of the players that stop playing the game back into the game. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.